our love affair with the automobile, an enduring symbol of our freedom and our ability to go where we want and to be who we want. In reality, most of us have a deep personal relationship with our vehicles. Who among us hasn't given various human attributes to our cars? We name them, talk to them, give them a personality, and even a gender. Once we sever this relationship through sale, trade, or wreck, does the vehicle's personality suddenly die, or does it carry on as much a part of its existence as are the engine and transmission? Have you ever gazed upon an old vehicle and wondered about all that may have experienced in its life? What if these classic beauties could speak and tell their tales? Would you care to listen to what they have to say? Would you listen to what they have to say? Well, now you can find out. In Restorations Travels Through the Time Tunnel. Through photographs and imagination, classic cars and trucks come alive to tell all about their past and current lives in this unique photo book. Along with the photos, Fantasy and whimsy combine to paint an amusing picture of life in a boneyard. While all the vehicles have hopes of making it to the restoration garage someday, each in their own way becomes a little restored by simply sharing their stories with the author photographer. Shot in and around Bozeman, Montana, the photographs of these beautiful automotive creations bring back memories of what once was and present glimpses of what could be. One thing for certain that can be said about this work is, old cars and trucks never die, they just invent new stories. Restorations is full of many characters, and here are just a few to introduce you to the book. D-Rex. Donald had many fine qualities, to be sure. However, when hungry, his mood changed dramatically, and fossil fuels alone didn't satisfy his voracious appetite. When Donald was hungry, the others on the lot treaded lightly. Very lightly. His teeth were the biggest ones on the lot. Oh, those late arrivals. They crawled in mid-morning about three hours late for our scheduled meeting. I could tell by their bloodshot eyes and horrid breath that they had been out getting trashed and my plans for quick progress would have to be scrapped. They crashed for a few hours, and when we finally chatted later in the afternoon, the smell of cheap gas and rich exhaust was still strong. Pyromaniac. As I understood it, the term was just a good ribbing for his career as fire chief. He was quite popular with all, but only his closest friends dared call him Bunny to his face. While generally good-natured, his temper was known to flare up in times of stress. Road Toad. His name was Horace, and he had been a field biologist for the fish and game department, studying of all things toads and frogs. He must have been very good at his job, as he had somehow acquired a host of characteristics common to the toad. He just sat there and stared, as if floating on a huge lily pad. He was quite an intolerant fellow and had few friends in the lot. Whenever he saw something he disapproved of, which was more often than not, he rolled his eyes and in a deep voice bellowed, I think I'm gonna croak. Worse yet, he was plagued by chronic gas, which resonated like a chorus of toads on a summer's night. Toothless Timmy. Timmy was a consummate party animal. One night, he and a group of friends went downtown to a favorite local garage and proceeded to get lubed up. Making an ill-advised comment about a certain rack, one thing led to another and someone got into Timmy's grill. Timmy started talking junk, got into a scrap, had his lights punched out, and lost his teeth. When I saw him afterwards and asked if he learned any lessons, he gave a gummed smile and lisped. Yup, talk left and punch more. These are only a few of the characters you'll find in Restoration's Travels Through the Time Tunnel. Just follow the URL and check out the first 15 pages of the book.